So good to have you here. I'm so happy to see you all. We're gonna get ready in just a moment. We're gonna start off by singing our hello song in just a minute. So good so, to have you. It's so good to have everybody here. It's nice to see you. All right. Let's get started with our hello song. If you've been to Story Time with me before, you might know it. You might know it from somewhere else. But for our hello song today, we're going to do the more we get together. And while we sing with our mouths, we're also going to do some signs with our hands. So we're going to practice them first. All right, are you ready? So when we sing the more we get together, the first word we need is more. Can you take your hands like, oh, I forgot part of my thing. Can you take your hands like this? Nope, like this. <gasps> I might have forgotten my signs. We're taking love this. We're gonna go like this. Are we gonna go more? More. They're like almost like ducks going quack, 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 quack. More. That's what we say more. And then we're gonna do together. This one is where we put our hands together, like two fists, one, two, swoosh, together. And we're gonna make a big circle. Like we're stirring a giant bowl. You got it? That's how we say together. And hopefully I stop being blurry in just a second. Oh, let's go closer. Hello. Let's go back. So that's how we say more. Hopefully it'll get unblurry in a second. Our next one is going to be happy. So for happy, make sure you've got a smile. And we're going to take our hands and we're going to brush them on our shoulders. Happy. Happy. Good, then we're going to do friend. So for the word friend, I know I'm blurry, I'm trying, there we go, we fixed it. So for the word friend, we take one finger friend and two finger friends and they give each other a hug for friend. All right, we're gonna try it singing it two times and it goes like this. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <gasps> Good job, let's do it one more time and make sure you're singing with me and using our hands with me. Ready, set, go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job. It's so good to see you all here. Today, we are going to be talking about houses and homes. So houses and homes, are also places where people and animals live. So we're gonna start out by doing some guessing. I've got a whole bunch of homes. Let me get them. Oh, let me squeeze them down. They're too tall for us to see up there. Let's see, there they all are. All right, I've got, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, Six homes, I have six homes here. And it's very important, we're gonna find out whose house is each one of them. Let's see, hmm, what animal might live in a pond? Can you think of any animals? Hmm, what might live in a pond? Ooh, this animal goes ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. A frog, a frog lives in a pond. Lots of other animals can live in ponds too, like ducks or some other birds or some fish. But I've got a frog, ribbit, 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 for our pond today. All right, goodbye 
hug goodbye frog. Let's see. Hmm. What animal could live in a barn? There's lots of different ones. What kind of animals could live in a barn? Hmm. Ooh, let's see. What animal? This animal goes moo. Moo. It's a cow. Moo. Lots of other animals can live in barns too. You can have chickens, you can have pigs, you can have horses, you can have sheep, you can have goats, but we've got a cow today who lives in the barn and the cow goes moo. All right, goodbye barn and goodbye cow. Let's see, what else do we have? We have a cave. What kind of animal might live in a cave? Mm, let's think. What kind of animal could live in a cave? Ooh, this one is very, very small. And if you hear it, it could be making it but very high, so high you might not be able to hear. It's a bat. A bat lives in a cave. Bears could live in caves and lots of other animals too, but this one's a bat in our cave today. All right, goodbye cave and goodbye bat. Ooh, this one, I don't know if you've seen this one before, this one is a hive. What's an animal or an insect that could live in a hive? Hmm. What do we think? Oh, it could be, it goes bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. That's right, it's a bee. A bee lives in a hive and goes bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. And some bees even make yummy, yummy honey inside of their hives that we could eat. Bzzz. Goodbye, hive. And bzzz. goodbye, bee. We've got two houses left. Let's see. What's an animal that can live in a nest? Do we know? Do we know an animal that could live in a nest? A baby animal that lives in the nest could go cheep, 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 or beep, beep, beep. Oh, it's a bird. This was a baby bird. It's a little baby bird. It's so small and so soft. We've got our baby bird in the nest. Our baby bird will stay in the nest until it's ready to fly. Ooh, gotta be careful, baby bird. Gotta wait till you're ready. All right, goodbye nest. And goodbye, baby bird. All right, our last one is a tree, a tree with a hole in it. Just perfect for an animal to live inside. What kind of animal might live in a hole in a tree? <gasps> Any guesses? Do we know? <gasps> this animal goes, who, 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 who. That's right, it's an owl. A squirrel could live in a hole in a tree, but this one's an owl. It goes, who, who. Hoo, 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 hoo. All right, goodbye tree and goodbye owl. Okay, so it is time for one of our books. And in this book, we're gonna be focusing on one of the animals. Do you remember what animal lived in the pond? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It was our frog. Our frog lived in the pond. And this book is called Leap Back to Me. <gasps> Do you think that when we are reading, when we say leapfrog, we could jump when we say leap? Ready? Or do a little bounce and go <gasps> bounce. Every time we say <gasps> leap back home to me. Perfect, perfect. 
<gasps> Leap frog over the ladybug. Leap frog over the bee. <gasps> Leap frog over the tickly clover. <gasps> Blip. Then back home to me. There's Mama Frog. Ready? Leap frog over the daisies. Leap frog over the creek. Leap frog over the splashing beavers. Spring. Then leap back home to me. Ooh, they're ready. They're gonna do some coloring. Everybody, are you still leaping? We're gonna go. Leap frog over the owl's nest. Leap frog over the trees. Leap frog over the rocky hilltop. Then leap back home to me. Oh, frog time stories. Leap frog over the mountains. Leap frog over the sea. Leap frog over the roaming clouds. Whoosh. Then leap. Frog home to me. Leap frog over the sun. Leap as high as you please. Leap frog out to the farthest stars. Zoom. When you leap home, here I'll be. Yay, and that is the end. Oh, how fun. We did a lot of leaping. All right, let's do a different kind of house, not a pond like where a frog lives, but a house or like where people could live. So let's see. Are you ready? We're going to tap at the door. Tap, 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 tap. Keep in. Turn the knob. Walk in. And shut the door. Can we do it one more time? Are you ready? Tap at the door. Tap, tap, tap. Peep in. Turn the knob, walk in, and shut the door. Good job. All right. Let's see. We've gotten some practice with our different houses where animals can live. Let's see if you can help me with this rhyme. We're going to do some motions with our hands and we're gonna try to rhyme and put them up on our flannel at the same time. So let's see. We've got, here is a nest for, oh, what can sit in a nest? Here's a nest for a robin. Here is a hive. Can you hear this tail is like this, I'm making a hive. Here is a hive for a bee. Here is a hole. Can you make a hole? Can you make a circle? Here is a hole for a rabbit. And here is a house, a house. Can you make a roof with your hands? Here is a house for me. All right, they've all got somewhere to live. Let's see.
Ooh, we've got some more guessing. Who's nest? Let's see. Do you think you can help me figure out whose nests are these? I weave my secret nest with bark from the honeysuckle tree. This oval hideaway keeps my babies warm. At night, I nibble sweet berries and gnaw on hazelnuts. Who am I? Whose nest? Do we know? I am Dormouse. I climb brambles and balance on branches. Soon I will take a long winter's nap. I build my sturdy nest with strong sticks and soft mosses. This huge home sways, can you sway like a tree? Sways on the branches of the tallest tree, rocking my chicks to sleep. Who am I? Who's nest? I am eagle. I soar and swoop above treetops and over the land. Each year, I will make my nest bigger. How big can you stretch your arms? How big? They're not even going to be as big as an eagle's nest. It'll be even bigger than how big you can stretch your arms. Very big nest. I form my nest with soft, sticky foam. It hangs on a log or branch. This bubbly nest lets my tadpoles grow. Soon they will hatch and splash into the water beneath. Who am I? Whose nest? I am tree frog. I climb up tree trunks and perch on lofty boughs. At night, I will look for insects to eat. I lay hundreds of eggs on colorful coral. This watery nest is hidden from harm, hungry hunters and rushing water. Who am I? Whose nest? I am clownfish. I flit and float through the tickly tentacles of an anemone. Swimming on the reef, we will stay safe. I nestle into tall grass and cushion my neck with fluffy fur and cuddly leaves. This snuggly bed blankets my babies while I munch on sweet crisp clovers. Who am I? Whose nest? I am rabbit. I hop, hop, hop across soft, sun-soaked grass. If it rains, I will nuzzle in a warm, dry burrow. I tunnel in the deep, dark earth to make my sheltered home. This den of waxy cups is built below the bustling garden. Who am I? Whose nest? I am bumblebee. I buzz from and bounce from flower to flower. When winter comes, I will hide from snow and cold. Did you know that bumblebees could live in hives in a nest like this, not just a hive? That's so cool. I dig through dry, dusty dirt for the perfect place to lay my eggs. This hushed hole is cozy and moist. Here my eggs will be snug until they hatch. Who am I? Whose nest? I am Gecko. I slink and search for food beneath the stars. But when the sun shines, I will curl up to snooze. Ooh, last one. I tuck away my tiny nest. It is soft and made with moss and feathers. This little haven can barely be seen in a tree. Perfectly perched, it will not topple in wind or storm. Who am I? Whose nest? 
I am a hummingbird. I swiftly sail, searching for sweet nectar to sip in the summer. I will fly away when autumn chills the air. And that is the end. There are so many different kinds of nests. I don't know that I've ever seen that many before. All right. We're going to build a house with our rhyme. So we need our arms ready to go. Ready? We're going to do it two times. Here is a house built up high with two big chimneys reaching for the sky. Reach, 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 reach. Here is a window. Here is a door. Open the door. If we look inside, can you see in? <gasps> There's a mouse on the floor. <laughs> Should we do it one more time? Let's do it one more. We got. Here is a house built up high with two big chimneys reaching for the sky. Here is a window. Here is a door. If we look inside, there's a mouse on the floor. All right. We are going to do one of my favorite, favorite, favorite dances which is head, shoulders, knees, and toes. It is my favorite one. I love to do it all the time. And all you need is your body and a little bit of room because you don't want to run into anybody. All right, are you ready? I'm going to fix my camera. Uh-oh, I'm almost losing my camera. So you can see more because I'm very tall. Let's see, are you ready? We're gonna start slow. We're gonna do it at least two times, maybe three. We're gonna start slow with head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Oh, eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Let's do it a little bit faster. Are you ready? Let's go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Oh, eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do it super fast. Are you ready for super fast? Are you ready? Let's go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Oh, eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job. It was so fast. I'm so glad that you can keep up. Let's see. All right, my friends. We are going to go ahead and sing our goodbye song. So for our goodbye song, we need our waving hands. Do you have them? Do you have your waving hands? You can wave in one of three different ways. You can wave open, close like this. You can wave wiggly fingers like this, or you can wave really big like this. All right. And we're gonna sing our goodbye song two times. Are you ready? Here's the first time. Our goodbye song goes, goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Ready for one more time? Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next time. It was so good to have you here.